So let's say you're using box cutter. You're sitting there and you're performing cuts and just stacking up cuts. And we'll show our modifier panel at the same time. So we're just stacking up modifiers. The modifiers are stacking up very nicely, all collapsed, not being added in an expanded state, very nice. And at some point you realize, hey, I'd like to apply everything and move on with my life. You know, because of auto parenting being on, which we can see let's see right here under parent shape this means that we can move things around freely without any problem whatsoever but let's say you wanted to apply these modifiers and actually move on well that is where this button comes in by clicking smart apply it will apply all the modifiers and remove the cutters and basically allow you to get in and begin editing this model destructively and you can do everything you would with it you know scale it and mirror it using hard ops, symmetrize it to the other side, everything that you would normally do. Um, applying scale, and then of course even adding more cuts to it. But whenever it comes to applying, there's a couple of ways that you can approach apply. For example, uh, let's perform a cut and let's hold shift in order to keep it live. So with this cut in our selection, we can still move it around. We can go in edit mode and bevel individual edges of it, everything that you would normally be able to do to a cutter that you manage to keep live. And of course that also means cutting the cutter in case you you know never tried cutting the cutter. It's a fun time to be had. But the best part about having this selected is that if you click the apply button with your cutter selected, it will apply that cutter and then select the main mesh. So now that cutter has been applied and we can get back to work. However, the interesting thing to note is that this cutter is still live and so is this cut still live because these were not in our selection whenever we chose to apply. So we can actually select this one and then if we were to click the smart apply button, we see that that particular cut has chosen to be applied and if we tap into edit mode, we can see that that mesh is now real, leaving this as our only live cut at this time. But just letting you know that box cutter has a couple of systems in place in order to apply things. However, whenever it comes to applying in a more complex state, that's where you want to look into either C sharpen, which is control clicking sharpen, or a replacement for it, smart apply, which is currently something that we're working on over time to try to be a smarter form of apply without less rigmarole. There's a myriad of ways that you can apply whenever it comes to hard ops, speaking of which. In fact, one of my favorite ways to apply, in fact, let's put a few cuts on this. One of my favorite ways to apply is actually going through modifier scroll and scrolling it to the state that I want and then holding control and just left mouse clicking in order to apply everything up to that point. There's another interesting way to apply, a little bit more interactive than the other two ways that I previously mentioned. But just letting you know that there's a couple of ways that you can apply cuts inside of box cutter and there's even more ways you can apply things on the fly whenever it comes to hard ops.